Akbar has invited Canada here to hear our questions, comments, or concerns. We are the fork in the road. Door number one is the same old, same old, which will result in the same old, same old. Or we will ask Canada to once again, please consider our future generations. For 8,000 years, the wild salmon population of the Fraser River has sustained my people, my language, my culture, my history, my very being, my core, my spirituality has been defined by the life cycle of the salmon. The wild salmon population of the Fraser River is facing extirpation followed by extinction. The TMX pipeline expansion project will add to that if not speeded up. So for that reason, we've said no. A lot of the areas that uh, they say that they've worked in doing um, uh, habitat, re uh, bringing it back to the areas, you know, uh, none of us were involved in it. Not, the, not just this community, but other communities, you know. Some of the areas where the fish are going to right now that we're going to be catching, their spawning grounds are, are, are being contaminated now as we speak. The numbers are getting lower every day. What if I came to your backyard? I'm going to do this. And you have a beautiful pool there. You have a spa there. But I'm going to come in, I'm going to take down your fence, and I'm going to use this part. And you don't get to have that say. Or I've allowed you to have that say through consultation, but I've already decided I'm going to do it anyway. If I was to turn that world around, would that make a difference? Do you see me? Are you willing to sit with me? And when you sit with me, do you hear me? Why are you putting fear in my territory? I'm thinking that that's okay. I say my territory because it's in within the Inslakatma lands that makes it a part of our territory. We like to keep our land the way it is, but you know, they're, you know, they're looking at progress, and we're looking that way. We want to save our land. You know, what more insurance do we going to get for you people? You're going to save it instead of you know talking about it. Show us. And they say, well, you know, this is for the betterment of Canada. How can it be betterment of Canada when it's taken away from the future generations? They're thinking about now. They're not thinking about the future. And I think it's important that the government really needs to look at what are we going to do 100 years down the road? Not thinking about how much money they can make today. So think about it. You go back to your government. You tell whoever that I in Kiyap say no. Hello. Nothing's more important to Canada than its relationship with its indigenous peoples. Please don't make Kanakabar add the final words unless we get in your way. So the choice is do you want salmon in the river for your future generations? Or do you want to triple your greenhouse gas emissions? Canada still has an opportunity to say no to the TMX expansion. We need to demonstrate to this world that we are in a crisis and the time of action is now. We've developed a recycling program. We put up solar projects. We put in wind towers. We're doing everything we can to do our part to reverse the adverse effects of climate change and the world needs leadership. A government who can say no to big business, to increasing climate change, that's a world leader. Canada, choose to do something different. We don't need more, more, more. We need to save something for tomorrow. My grandchildren, our land, our people's land, our ancestors' land, it's not for sale.